Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking baseball today only. We've got a promo code for 25% off the entire website on picksandparlays.net. If you use the code football, yes, just the word football, you get 25% off. We're talking Mets and Yankees tonight with Craig Trapp. Craig, uh, we've got the Mets and the Yankees on deck. I'm assuming the Yankees are going to be favoring this one, even though it's uh, at City Field. We've got Jay Happ going for the Yankees, a lefty, one and one on the season with a 4.05 ERA. Then Robert Gesselman, I, I hope I'm saying that right. He's a righty for the Mets, a uh, 5.19 ERA, zero and zero, four innings, one run last time out against the Yankees, a 2-1 Mets loss. So, uh, anything that jumps out to you about this matchup to start with? Well, two two offenses that you would think, especially when the Yankees are involved, when you headed it into the season, you would expect a lot of runs being scored. But this Yankees team is since so banged up, and I just don't think the Yankees have a whole lot of uh, firepower right now. So it's it's funny that you would, going into the season, you'd think the Yankees have to win with their uh, pitching and defense, but that's the case as it is right now. I do think Hap has a slight pitching edge here, so I'm going to go with the Yankees, but man, this lineup doesn't have a whole lot of firepower, so let's hope the bullpen uh, doesn't blow it for Hap, and you know, at least they get a Mets team that they're not much better when it comes uh, to their explosive or non-explosive offense. I think the bullpen for the Mets is a real issue, uh, but I'm going to go with an under in this one just because both pitchers are coming off uh, good performances against each other. Granted, these teams just played each other last weekend, which kind of stinks if you're taking the under because the more hit or see pitching uh, from the same side, usually the easier it is to hit. But Jay Happ was really good against the Mets. Seven and a third shutout with only three hits against this Mets team. And then when we're talking about the Yankees offense, John Carlos Stanton, uh, Aaron Judge, still both on the IL. Their big hitters are still hurt for some reason. I don't know how those big, strong guys are always hurt, but <laughs> they are. Uh, and plus, the Yankees are coming off that really emotional series with the Rays. I don't know if you watched any of it, but uh, uh, definitely getting chippy between those two. So I think the emotional juices are going to be... I don't know. I think they're going to be out of firepower in this one, and I, I like an under. Hopefully the number is around nine because that's where I would like it. Yeah, I expect it to be in the eights because of the last time these two squared off, these two starters against each other, that that was an under game. So I, I imagine it'd be eight, eight and a half. And I think I would be right with you on the under because, like you said, you, you faced the Rays. It was chippy. They didn't play well. Uh, they didn't hit well. And now you kind of have a letdown. I mean, it's hard to say when you're playing the Subway Series, you wouldn't think this would normally be a letdown, but it definitely is. And I think the Mets aren't much better when it comes to offense. So I'd be on the under and then the Yankees as uh, my top play. I would argue with you and say that it might be nine just because of how bad this Mets bullpen has been. That's the only thing that makes me nervous. Uh, is Chapman because might be also, out too, right? Chapman might be out. Yeah, I think he's he on the suspension. Unless, so. they're, unless they're appealing unless they it. Appeal. I think they can right. play through it, right? Yeah, well, I don't know if they appeal today, if they'll appeal tomorrow, but he could be out. And that would definitely uh, force it to a nine as well because – He's one of the on. Un- he's one of the few reliable uh, relief pitchers we've seen in uh, for the Yankees consistently this this year, at least. Yeah, I think Zach Britton is back as well, so they do have some of their arms. And like you mentioned, it just hasn't been the the hot offense that everyone expected them to be as of you know what we're saying as of this week, you know. So right. uh, yeah, I'm going under. All right, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's hoping. All right. That's going to do it for Yankees Mets talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, good stuff from Craig Trapp.